Okay, just want to do a quick video. Uh, what I do on my first day setup when I have an AT&T modem installed or AT&T internet installed on my system. So first thing I do is um, I'll take a picture of the back of the deal. Let me do that real quick and I'll come back because this thing's not letting me do pictures. Okay, so I take a picture of the back of the thing. And what I do is I will then come and I'll log in. So I'll go here, go to um, home network, and then I'll go to configure. And then I got to put that code in. So let me do that real quick. I'm going to continue. Okay, good. Okay, now we're going to go to uh, Wi Fi. Okay. Oh no, I got to go to advanced options. That's what it is. There you go. First two things I do is number one, I change the um, SSID from broadcast to turn off broadcasting. And what that does is, is it makes it so that your Wi Fi is hidden while everyone else's, you can actually see the name of their Wi Fi. Now the signal is there, but not the name. So if someone wants to hack into your stuff, they have to guess the name and the password, whereas everyone else, they just have to guess the password because their name is already out there. So we're gonna do that first. The second thing we do is we turn off WPS. Now WPS is very convenient when you're first setting things up, but it is a very, very insecure setup. Um, it actually will give people the chance to log into your system when you're not really looking. So. Don't use WPS, just manually install the username or the network name, network SSID, and the password. So, all right, let me switch this back. Okay, very good. So, we're going to go to SSID enabled. We're going to turn that off. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, SSID enabled. We're going to turn it off. Wi Fi operation. Yep. Okay. Guest SSID is off. WPA, that's good, but WPS, we gotta turn off. Wi-Fi protected setup on, we're gonna turn that off, okay. Wi-Fi protected setup, there it is, there's the other one. Oh, uh, let me turn this back on. on. No, we're supposed to turn off this one. Wi-Fi protect this setup off, okay. And then hide network name. This one right here, that's the most important one. Hide network name on, okay. Now, this is for the 2.4 gigahertz. You gotta do it for the 2.4 gigahertz and for the five gigahertz on. Turn off Wi-Fi protected setup, turn that off, and then hide network name, we're gonna turn that on, okay? And then you're gonna save it, it should be at the bottom. Save, so you choose this to continue, see what changes, yep. And then once you do that, it should reboot your system, okay? It's gonna take a minute. I don't know why it's not focusing, but. Here we go. Okay, good. And that's it. Those are the two things I do for when I first set up my AT&T router to secure it at least a little more secure than everyone else. Because you got to remember, you don't have to be more secure than everyone. You have to just be more secure than your neighbor. Because if the hacker comes to your neighborhood and he's trying to hack into your stuff, he's going to see yours is hidden and his is not. And he's probably going to try and do his. Okay, so that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> don't outrun the sheep. Just outrun the kid next to you and let the sheep get him and not you. If you have questions about that, go check out some of my other videos. Hope this is helpful. Peace. God bless you. Bye.